Now, 2009 has certainly been an exciting time for Derek Idol's old school in Marshall. Of course, back in March, the Lion Boys basketball team advanced to their very first state finals. And now the football team sits on the doorstep of a state title game. Sports 10's Caleb Martin has more on a Lions team dreaming of a state championship. The Marshall Lions football team is coming off one of their biggest wins in school history. The Lions beat their rival Casey Westfield 14 to 13 to advance on to the Final Four for the first time since 1979. The overtime win against uh, our, our bitter rival uh, and, and at their place, it was just it's a huge win for us. We haven't beat them in so long. Uh, you know, everybody says we were due, um, but really it was just you know it was a great, it was an all-around team effort, and uh, uh, we played the game of our lives. It's probably one of the biggest wins in Marshall football history. And just uh, the school support, the town support, everything's been awesome so far. It's awesome we're in the Final Four, but that we beat KZ in the Elite Eight, there's just nothing better than that. The Lions will now play host to Moroa Forsyth this week. The Trojans finished the regular season at a mark of 10-2 and are coming off a 21-6 win over Central A&M. The Lions know that they will have their hands full this week, but they have confidence they can pull off the win. They're a, they're a quick team. They have a lot of fast guys. They're somewhat of a finesse team. We come out pretty physical defense. I mean, we're going to go out there smacking them in the mouth. Hopefully it works like it has the last few weeks and take care of business. Now, if the Lions beat the Trojans this week, Marshall will earn their first trip in school history to the state championship. It's the first time we've ever went to a state championship game before in uh, football, and uh, I think it'd just be an awesome experience, and uh, hopefully uh, we can make it there and uh, be playing in Champaign. But we're going one game at a time, but if we can get this win, you know, uh, it's going to be uh, something special, not for just for this group of guys and coaches and um, just everybody around the program, uh, but for our community. And you better believe no one in the Marshall community can wait till the ball's kicked off at 1.30 Central Time on Saturday. Reporting for Marshall, Kayla Martin, Sports 10. And, of course, Sports 10 will be at the Marshall game on Saturday.